Hello there, Lorenda Carr for Daily Vibe Check. It is Wednesday, March 10th, and we're going to see what Spirit wants us to know. Had a great Tuesday reading, <clears throat> and even a great, actually, the last, probably the last five or six days have been really, really good readings, um, and have played out with the actual vibration of what, um, what was coming up in the cards. So it's been kind of interesting to see how things have played out. Um, so let's see what the spirit wants to know today for this fantastic hump day, Wednesday. Um, all right. Ooh, the tower. This is one of the coolest towers. I just love, I, first of all, I just love this deck, but great artwork. So the tower is about things coming to an end, um, burning things to the ground. Um, oh, let's see. Endings. Um, and sometimes you have to, you can have that old beat down house and sometimes you just have to burn it to the ground to start over, you know? Um, so let's see what other card comes up with it. The world. Oh my gosh. Both big, huge energy cards about endings, completing cycles. Um, wow, big energy. <clears throat> I'm going to see <clears throat> the soul's journey card. Let's do an oracle card real quick pull this together i may have to pull a couple clarifying cards because these are just really big like this is like shut it down shut that shit down you're done finished you're gonna burn it down and you're gonna walk away i am by no means telling you to burn your house down disclaimer okay do not this is all metaphors being married to a lawyer i've often learned how to do disclaimers by the way all right let's see imagination <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's a spongebob episode where it's like imagination all right i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so how does this tie together first of all check out the colors they really do coordinate well they complement each other um i feel like this is saying that you really need to You need to be creative and tap into a side of your mind that maybe you're not used to using, first of all. A lot of times in when we're facing reality and we're like dealing with daily life, we forget. We forget about all the, the magic in life. We, we forget about the imagination, the fun stuff. And and I feel like this is saying it's time to bring something to an end. And you know, you might have to get real creative about how to do it. But notice the difference between the two cards. This looks really dark and ominous and scary with the lightning and the poor little, is that a squirrel? Squirrel's all scared. Who scares a squirrel? Who does that? And I got my husband yawning as loud as possible upstairs. Um, but how do you bring something to an end? This is burn it down, break the cycle, come to an end. Get ready to start something new. And I feel like this is saying, you know, you need to do this. It's time to do this. Yesterday's card was about manifesting and and um, not being afraid to move forward on a journey. Sometimes you have to get real creative about how you're going to get out of your current situation to be able to move forward into that success and greatness. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull one more card just for clarification. Another huge, powerful card, um, but it's reversed. The star reversed. Another like this is a crazy couple of days. I'm getting like some really great cards here. The star reversed is and when it's upright, it's rebirth, and it comes right after the tower. In the in the major arcana, you got this. Burn the shit down. You burn it down. And once you do that, you can create something new. And, and there's a sense of rebirth. 
what this is saying is you're having a hard time getting there it's still positive still a positive card but you're having a hard time getting there you're having a hard time finalizing and letting things go and you're also maybe having a hard time manifesting like we talked about yesterday if you haven't watched it go back and watch yesterday's it's a little rambling i kind of ramble a little bit but it's not too bad i have some really good things to say to say um but i feel like this is challenging you to think outside the box you know think creatively don't limit yourself don't just shut yourself off because if you're trying to if you need to really close a chapter on your life and walk away from something you need to get rid of it and maybe you already have and maybe you're just trying to figure out what the hell now okay okay Lorena you told me to like give all these things up you told me to burn it down I did now what you have to get creative you have to think outside the box this is a day I'd say I, I feel like this overall vibration is acknowledging that something has come to an end or is coming to an end and you're going to have to be ready and you're going to have to be real creative about how things are going to come into play and how do you move away from and break these cycles because okay so say you you burn down your house you burn it down get rid of it but then you're like yeah i'm done then you but then you're like no what okay relationship finally you get out of a bad relationship you break up and you're like yes i'm moving on and yeah and but then you end up like dating someone someone else that's exactly like that person and you're having a hard time moving on and starting new like truly new not starting over with the same cycle you had before how do you prevent that from happening? You're gonna to have to get real creative. How do you break those cycles? So really interesting. Again, big cards, three major arcana um, with big, like they're standing alone, they're big, strong cards and, and have a lot of meaning to them. A lot of symbolism, um, but very high energy, powerful cards. And, and I just feel like this is a, this is a call to action. This is definitely a call to action kind of day where you you have to make some choices and you have to get real creative um, in order to in order to get this card to turn right set up and actually have that rebirth process happening where you are moving on to something new and healthy and good for you that's not the same as what this was. Okay. Whew, that was a lot. Hope you have a great day. Um, it's hump day. We're halfway through the week. Yay! Um, I'd love to hear your comments. If you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I am. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, I don't have that many, you know, big picture. I've got a friend who's like, well, I've got a thousand followers. I'm like, seriously? I don't really do that. Like and some of these people have all these followers, but ultimately I know these messages from spirit are legitimate. And I know that the people that do follow are really getting some good guidance. I'm getting good guidance. You know, I'm trying to give into the process. It's not about me. It's about the messages the spirit gives. And, and I love, I love sharing these messages because they're useful. They're doable. They're, they're easy to imagine. They're easy to put into play. So that's my goal. You don't have to watch for half an hour or anything. Um, like there's one, one lady I like to follow. Her readings are so spot on, but like I get so distracted because they're 30 minutes long. They're like YouTube videos like this. And they're like 25 cards laid out. I'm like, well, man, that's a lot to take in for just one week. Holy cow. Um, and 30 minutes. Here's my thing with you all. Keep it simple. Three cards, burn it down, figure it out, get creative in order to start over. And then done. <laughs> all right. Have a good one, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.